Hello, I'm Chief Mike Butod, and I'm here with our favorite fire chief, Jeff DeGraffenried. And today we're going to talk about um, some of our memories of 9-11 since it's the 20th anniversary. You know, Chief, I was uh, at Station 54 that morning. We had a relatively quiet night, uh, and uh, folks in the station were like, hey, gather around the TV, something big's going on. You know, at the moment, I don't, I don't think we actually understood the gravity of what we were watching. We knew it was a big deal. We knew that there was going to be uh, responders that were in harm's way. And uh, on the 20th anniversary, you know, it's a, a good time for us all to reflect a little bit about the progress we've made and to remember those who gave the ultimate sacrifice that day. I remember, uh, you know, having a very similar uh, situation. So I had just been promoted to sergeant and was working the midnight shift as well. And I remember coming home. And my wife had said, hey, there's a plane that, that crashed into one of the Twin Tower buildings. I remember just not knowing what that was about, if it was an accident or, you know, what had occurred. And found out that the second plane had hit the, uh, the, the next tower and, you know, kind of realized then that it was, you know, a planned event. About three hours later, um, I was actually standing post in front of the FAA, mm -hmm. uh, protecting that building from a potential attack because we just didn't know what was going to occur speak a little bit about the FAA. I know we have some footage outside of uh, this building right here, uh, Police Administration, where we looked and saw the contrails of the planes uh, making U-turns and something that we had never seen. And uh, it was uh, quite some time before we saw planes back in the sky. You know, I don't think anybody knew uh, until those towers came down uh, how dangerous that call really was for those folks. Um, it really changed uh, the way we approached everything. I know for the fire department, that was the very beginning of when we uh, began to be uh, proficient at technical rescue. How are we going to work uh, with big steel buildings that come to the ground? Uh, it also improved our hazardous materials response. You know, in days uh, after that, I think we recognized that we were never going to have a call ever again where it was just police or just fire, that everything we were going to do in the future was going to be a team sport. And that's absolutely how it is. And I remember it really took a, probably a week before everything to kind of settle out and sink in and, and find out all the different stories of what occurred and how tragic it was and how sad it was. You know, I think um, during some of the toughest times bring out some of the best attributes of police officers and firefighters. And I was very proud that we could participate in some small way in an outpouring of support from the residents in our great community, giving money uh, and supplies that we could deliver to New York. I even had some employees travel to New York to help out where they could. And I think that just goes to show how much the public uh, values the work we do and appreciates it. Um, and uh, I, I was so proud of the way the community rallied around that challenge for us um, and supported us during those times. I think uh, it's a little bit challenging in these days. Uh, the last few months have been difficult, uh, especially for law enforcement. And I would say I'm so proud of our community because uh, the police department has such a high degree of trust uh, that there was never a question about would we serve everybody and take care of everybody. Uh, and uh, so I think you guys are doing a great job and the fire department notices that. Yeah, I appreciate you saying that. Thank you for that. One of the things that uh, we feel very privileged to have uh, in the possession of the City of Olathe Fire Department uh, is a piece of steel from the World Trade Center. It's an authenticated piece of steel that shows where it came from in the second building. And it's in our fire administration building in an appropriate glass case. And it's open to the public and to our employees to come by and visit and reflect on those uh, days and then what that piece of steel represented. Uh, so if you want to see a piece of the World Trade Center still, we'd be happy to host you in our fire administration lobby during business hours. And uh, you can leave a, leave a little note there. We have a little book to inscribe in uh, your thoughts during that time. So we'd be happy to host you. Today we honor the firefighters and police officers that ran towards danger, attempting to save the lives of those under attack on September 11, 2001. That day we saw the worst and the best of humanity. 20 years ago today, Americans swore they would never forget. For a moment in time, we were all united. 20 years later, together, Olathe Public Safety stands ready. Every day we answer the call, ready again to run into the face of danger. Thank you all for your service, courage, and compassion. We are proud to be members of the Olathe Police Department and the Olathe Fire Department.